Greetings and join us. Yeah, just on a little bit of a an adventure, sort of, just working more basically, a uh, different environment. So uh, today, uh, UFO is sighting American Airlines. I'm not sure how deep I'm going to go into the, I mean, where I'm going to be able to tap into. Obviously, with something like that, there's only so far I can go. And it's, I guess it happened in uh, Mexico. No surprise there. I guess it happened, I don't know if it happened near Dulce or, I, haven't, I didn't want to get into it that deeply, but it would be a surprise. <laughs> so, yeah, so they are gearing up for something. I mean, I, I mean, how many times can that be happening and they're just not reporting it? You think after a while they get kind of tired of not saying anything. It's just, it is kind of scary. I mean, it's not, it wasn't a missile. It was definitely a UFO. I mean, how, just, anyway. All right, I'm going to Astral Illuminati again. I feel like that's a good subject matter to tap into. And this is out of nowhere, uh, Jerusalem. Uh, is this connected to the Astral Illuminati? It possibly could be. I just feel like I should connect to Jerusalem for some bizarre reason. I could do a Christ consciousness, but I'd rather go to a different uh, direction. Let's put it that way. So, uh, with UFO sighting, let's see. Yeah, there's more to come. <laughs> of course. Yeah, they're setting up for something. Was it with the uh, with the Pentagon doing all this UFO uh, links? Not a lot. 180 days. They're gonna wait. Who knows what's going to do with that? It's just getting kind of odd and uh, this, and then who knows what's coming up next. Yeah, they're gearing up for some. Now, if they do, <clears throat> it's really hard to say how this is going to go. I mean, are they going to just control it through the media or just talk about UFO sightings, take it more seriously instead of laughing about it, which is m most likely the scenario. It's like they're just talking more about it and questioning it and then, Obviously, they've been ignoring it for a long time, but so around this, I don't know if I mentioned this, around this summer, <clears throat> with our health situation, I feel like there's going to be a, a, you know, a little bit more leniency in some areas, and then throughout the year, it'll get more lenient. Over, it, all, it feels like this summer right now, but that can easily change. So, of course, Syria got the, a visitation from you know aerial t uh, attacks unfortunately but center healing for that so all right uh well so the astral illuminati just uh why not am i also connect to the anunnaki of course that's connected to jerusalem also so we're just kind of never connected to the anunnaki in a while so uh the astral and illuminati wanted to go a little bit more in depth with that to see what else they have to say basically it's basically like i said i saw a guy uh, astrally um shorts and a shirt and uh it looks like an actor in hollywood i can't think of who it is but but no surprise there right <laughs> not at all so yeah i'm not gonna go in that direction anyway but okay um i think i'm gonna do this right Oh, I guess I'm going to go a little bit backwards on this. Uh, as I'm told, I have my prior sessions. We have a scheduler. We have a shop here. Uh, I'm at, uh, I'm on the, ooh, I think I'm on the 14th or the 15th. I can't remember now. Same situation here. Uh, the webinar is signed up. The social network that you won't get kicked off of. Uh, rabbit, oh, it's mightiness. Jeez, it's too, uh, behind the scenes, and we have a uh, March uh, date coming up. Uh, so two weeks from now, I believe. <coughs> so I'll be there Friday, but I won't be really doing anything until Sunday. But I'll be in the area. I'll be around about. Of course, Friday is going to take me forever just to get there. So I'm going to leave early and. Because uh, of traffic and everything, so we got work also. So that's going to be hopefully it's a light day at work. 
open. Jeez. <clears throat> Just... Okay, um, so the UFO sighting. <laughs> I guess I can tap into that. <laughs> sure. All right, we'll uh, channel that energy for a second, for a little bit, and then we'll go on uh, from there. Oh, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow's uh, upload is going to be a special. Of course, they're always special, but this is going to be a... No one's going to see this one coming. It's just, it's it's going to be, well, I guess I can put it, a um, human trafficking. I just put that out there. It's a subject matter. I'm not, I'm not going to title it that. Well, I'll title it something. I don't want to go, but let me go. Uh, it's just, well, it works. Screw it. Uh, so that'd be cool. This said, uh, we'll just leave it at that. So that's good. All right. Uh, blessings. Uh, the plan is put out tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. All right, watch off. There you go. <clears throat> All right, when I get, I'm not really channeling the being yet. Uh, there's a dulce uh, energy there. Uh, I feel like it was done deliberately, obviously. Um, they're testing the waters to see what they can get away with. Um, so is this like an upcoming invasion? I don't believe so, but they're getting more... They don't care anymore if anyone sees it or not. They're just... just it's just there wasn't their... Um, they just... Now, is there an agenda? They're not showing it just yet for obvious reasons. It is to build up this to an event, but not like the end of the world or cataclysms or anything like that. So just, yeah, that's all they're going to show me there. Okay, all right. Well, I'm not sure if I can even tap into this thing. Okay, here we go again. <coughs> Greetings. We are the Greys. Your planet is yes, connecting more to a a solar eclipse. You're connecting more to other versions of Earth. It's not making itself too queer at this moment, but many of you are going through a spiritual development. You'll see those other you're basically connecting to other realities, and some of them are alien. As you know, or most of them are. So, as you connect more to that, it comes more into your reality. What is strange in your world is normal in other places. So, yes, you're blending into other timelines where alien life is normal on a planet, basically, is what you're working towards. Now, yes, there's going to be a major adjustment to it. It's not going to happen quickly, but it is, as you can see. It is not the full, we do not see a full alien contact as of yet, but the more the curiosity and people wanting open up their spiritual pathways to connect. And know there is something there after all. <laughs> you might not understand it, uh, but we feel more going to go into the channeling state and more of the spiritual state of understanding these things. That's the only way to do it because... And that helps you actually bring alien life closer to you on a personal level. Maybe not on a physical level yet, but many are terrified. And, you know, of course, the technology. I mean, alien beings can calm out down their vibration where they can't cause you harm because, you know, you're, you're at a different vibration altogether. And just they, sometimes they put off radiation and you're aware of it. But they they are cautious around humans because... Where we can function together because their technology can cause a lot of difficulties here also as many of you know so it's basically for human and alien to begin to instead of saying this isn't real and all of this it's, it's allowing one's personal self it's like a, a voyage it's like going out into the ocean and discovering a new continent this is similar to it it's like now you're going into, as, as many were looking for the new world in your past, and that is a true history. 
some might have already knew the new world was already there but similar to alien contact that's the same thing so as more we become spiritual explorers that's a an excellent name for uh, people who are looking for star receive a spiritual explorer is to not to take a dominate a a is a domination or to take a group of galactic federation of light or you know ashtar commander or just just to be independent that is all that's really needed <laughs> you don't have to join a group it's like joining a yes and some well th that's where many those that connect to alien groups yes connect to the hive mind of that group doesn't mean you're part of the hive mind but you, you connect to the collective and there's nothing wrong with having those connections but continuing in your own independent energy is most important so as for alien anomalies obviously we can't go into details we are getting close to something that's you are getting closer to yourselves your world is connected to another world and it's getting closer every day that's all we have at this moment blessings Greetings to you. This is the astral elite, a womanati, as you very clever. <clears throat> your your alien disclosure is inevitable, actually. Uh, there is going to be a form of control for those that need to be controlled, but for many of you that want to, many of you that are outsiders are already being outsiders and are not part of any group, as you already know. <clears throat> uh, many of you just want to be independent, and that's <laughs> quite clever of you. <clears throat> it's only at the top, as you can see. Uh, but it is, it doesn't have to always be continuously like that, though. So the alien uh, essence here, well, throughout history, alien life has always been pushing the envelope. Actually, it used to be Anunnaki doing more than other beings. Uh, but now it's become more Zeta recently because some of them are from the future, but some of them are also from your past. <laughs> Some of them are having difficulties learning how to be a human, so they're connecting here to figure your world out, or is to to advance themselves in another way. They're warning, and when you're warning, you abduct people, <clears throat> you fish, and they fish for humans, but they don't eat humans, but they throw you back though. So yeah, there it's a science science experiment, and they don't think anything of it as. Humans here uh, don't think anything what they do. <laughs> More clarity is going to come into your reality also. As human and alien, yes, they're going to be part of your society, of course. And when you have the technologies, now that was, well, we can't go into detail, but that was, technologies here was a, an agreement with your Earth and other galactic federations. Before you knew there was a Galactic Federation here, of course, that was quite some time ago during the Industrial Revolution. But the idea was who was going to control it. Who controls it? Well, I guess you could say your pharmaceutical companies control it. <laughs> As you can see. Well, your health can be a lot better these days, can it? And who's the one governing that? A lot of Anunnaki are part of the healthcare system, just in case you're wondering. So, as for the elite here, imagine you're here to hear from our point of view. Yes, we have a lot, a lot of ego issues with ourselves. Um, yes, we're not exactly, we don't really care. Well, we care about appearances, but not really. It's, it's about, you know, we get into a position and we take advantage of it. You can say we abuse it. Uh, but we we use it to our liking. Well, you're born into a family of doctors or a family of musicians 
some of us are born to a family of control freaks, basically. Um, and yes, with in your dimension, so much money you don't know what to do with, <laughs> uh, such as the Rockefellers and Rothschilds, without naming too many. Uh, but yeah, those family elites are just, it's like no matter what they do, they get income <laughs> coming in no matter what. So yeah, it's like being a doctor basically, but you're an elitist instead. <laughs> so as an elitist family, yes, it's very connected to the stock market, it's very connected to pretty much everything, pharmaceuticals, etc. It's basically wherever they're interested in, they find a way into it, infiltrate it, make it for better, make it for the worse. It's a juggle between both good and bad. Yes, good does a lot, but bad seems to win usually because it makes it more attractive. But one of the reasons why they took down your art, well, at least art isn't what it used to be. Well, it's all subjective, but it isn't like the 80s or the early 90s or your you know, 70s. You feel like a different vibration there. Well, yeah, because they didn't want humans to really find themselves anymore. It's like it's kind of st stunting the growth. Um, Caused a lot of more depression here, actually. Because art helps people grow, helps them feel more alive. And obviously, some of us don't want that. And you're still going through it today. Well, they can see what's happening here. It has a lot to do with your technology that's been brought here. So you have a lot of timelines i mean once you get a certain technology here a certain manipulation finds its way in also you can say <clears throat> but as an elitist family mm -hmm. obviously it has its perks uh but that's a responsibility basically not to destroy itself i mean you have to stay in power right i mean you just given power given all these abilities but can you can, can you sustain it and what can, how inventive can you be it's about what you can do with it overall. And the positive side of it, like I guess they normally they don't win. <laughs> Usually they're quite weak. <clears throat> well, it's like the bad guys do something and the good guys kind of heal it. The good guys do something and the bad guys come and ruin everything. <laughs> you know, always within the elite family sometimes the good guys get so complacent to fuck everything's fine the bad guys move in and screw that up too even for their own lives so it's almost like you're always on the edge <clears throat> when you're on the good side of things you gotta really be kind of paranoid <laughs> it depends on what you're here to do if you want to make a true difference in the positive you gotta be on your feet because the negative is always on their feet so the positive needs to be on their feet to almost keep themselves hidden from the dark of what they're up to. Of course, usually they they actually have meetings with each other and say, we're, we're going to do this good thing, and that's the way it's going to be. And the dark's like, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> so such as ending a lot of wars here, certain candidates we're going to put into office, and you know, and there's a lot of it's a compromise to take out a remove a candidate from office and put someone else in. So that's, a lot of it's boring board meetings, actually. And that's in your reality. So you be and is it like board meetings where you can like they tell the media? No. Usually it's now it it just no one would ever know who it is. <laughs> no one would ever have any idea some of them been on tv yes <laughs> that control your they're part of it they're part of the decision makers some of them have been uh broadcast i'm not gonna say who it is though well it's just not we're not here to do that <laughs> so they don't broadcast themselves meaning they've been on television usually about financial reasons uh un I'll give you a hint uh it's usually most people i mean these people might be on television, but most of you will know what the hell I'm talking about if we did bring it up. So, yeah, we just are in plain sight, but also nobody would any, think anything of it. Just a regular rich person just doing their thing, putting on a good presentation. A presentation means everything, <laughs> as you know. 
so so yeah it's it's a plain no people are getting pissed off about it oh that doesn't get you anywhere <laughs> well it just that's internal that's for the person themselves now now there are dark ways here to do horrible things of course but that's part of nature well it's like how far can we push this and where's the light where where are the positive people are they going to do anything where are the white hats are they going to show up or they're going to let's do whatever how we want eventually as you show up i mean it's not easy being a white hat as some of you know there's few of you and it's it's not as glamorous as you would think it is so yeah it's just health isn't so good a lot of times uh and you have to be careful what you eat also <laughs> not because of if it's healthy or not or who's going to have access to it it is a hidden war it's very hidden much of it is in europe of elitist war it's in europe normally not much in the united states it's, it, i mean there are elites in the united states but the heavier ones are the top brass ones are in europe and europe is so quiet for the most part it's kind of you know, laid back not all of it but you know it's pretty you know as its culture it's not always going to notice what the hell is going on so uh brussels is one of the places but there's others germany is one also there are others australia is of is a part of the elite it's not the elite but there are elites there are elites everywhere uh of course elitist family once again elitist families you know they go off and it's like a uh, web so yes and once again they are on tv some of them a lot of them aren't they want to broadcast themselves the shy ones on. but the ones that don't feel like they don't want such a facade of normalcy i'm just a rich boring person nobody's gonna think i'm anything <laughs> and they play it so smoothly and if the black hats do it and the white hats do it to the counter each other and even on television they say certain things like sometimes they'll say like a, a code word that nobody will think anything of uh where another we just would catch on to it it's like oh what the fuck? <clears throat> you know they can't even cause war with each other just with a single word it's a code word basically so it was it's in the sentence it's not it doesn't stand out nobody would know but but these guys are the, you know and they know the lingo let's put it that way <laughs> so are these people going to make themselves known not anytime soon <laughs> um but you can say your understanding of them will become more as many of you open up your abilities will become more clear today You. We are the energies of Jerusalem. We are a library of knowledge. Yes, we are a a city of Anunnaki. We're a city of many beings. And yes, phenomenal beings are Anunnaki in different forms and forality. They just want to make sure that their order, their direction for humanity is taking place. That it is in the order as it was foreseen in the ancient times. Like it or not, it is part of keeping humans stable. Uh, it's just to keep humans stable. <laughs> As you go more into your power structure, you're you're activating yourselves. As be there's a possibility of uh, a lot of the uh, Anunnaki, even elites, don't really take humans that seriously with their abilities of flying. At least for flying. Uh, flying, uh, telep telepathy is becoming stronger among me. But like very extraordinary abilities, that's been kind of kept quiet. Well, it's just not, the Earth isn't really ready for it just yet. So your Anunnaki's are like your parents, kind of. You know, they feel like they rule the world. Um, and the influence places like Jerusalem and other cities. It's just uh, this is this is the rules of the earth. Jerusalem has a lot of it. It's put out. You know, Israel puts a lot out there. 
and the world complies to it. Not that you know restrictions on what to be, do, just the guideline of what a human is. Obviously, it might not be the best guidelines for some, especially those in Iran. Well, Iran, Iran breaks rules, and you know, it it actually love them or hate them, they do want to create a new society for the positive. It's not all dark, not far from it. They just want to do their own thing. And obviously, some don't agree with it. They're going outside of the script. So that's why these things happen. There is a world script that's written, like it or not. And yes, many have difficult. Now, you can't blame Jerusalem for all this. Anunnaki, mostly, if you want to blame anybody. Well, as humanity, humanity was being developed, a lot of Bill of Rights was created, you can say, for, society, for humanity. Obviously, the rules have been broken over and over again. It's just like the world, humanity has guidelines to go by. As you can see, through many are going through their work situations, you still have to have some kind of job. What do you bring to the earth? You know, you're a human. What, what, what do we, I mean, obviously, men are working on themselves, which is good. You don't have to be, be productive with yourself, meaning that you're just being yourself. You don't have to produce, you know, just send out your energy. Truly, truly that is, that's why many have a desert period in their life where they feel like they're just not doing anything in their lives. And they are working on themselves, but they're sending out a vibration to the planet, and that's the frequency they're needed. The plant needs that frequency from them. It's very confusing. It's very, it's like, what do I do with myself? Just be. And that sucks. <laughs> so Anunnaki beings, there are, of course, other beings involved, obviously. But Anunnaki are, they don't feel like they're like the parent. I mean, they feel like they're a parent, but they are, but they aren't. <clears throat> it's just once again guidelines of humanity. Obviously, many don't like the guidelines. They don't like what's going on, and obviously, many break the rules constantly of making things even harder. Well, it's like you can make it harder here. Just you know, we don't need people flying in the sky just yet. So, descension is allowed. Ascension goes slow. I mean, descension doesn't mean the whole world is descending, but some are. Well, a lot of humans are still going through their own world, trying to be physical, being physical, doing a physical life, raising their kids, things like that. They don't need spiritual understanding of how many gods are out there, how many Jesuses and things like that. Uh, that gets a little bit complicated for some people. So your human rate, your human collective tones it down a little bit. <clears throat> And some of you are ready for aliens, ready for all this, and it's like, God, I gotta wait now. <clears throat> this is not fun. It's like, hey, hey, world, look what I can do. I can, I just need to be allowed to be activated myself, and I'm ready to go. And humanity is like, nope, not yet. <laughs> so that's yes, you understand the frustration there. Uh, once again, your vibration is here to. There's compromises in the works. Let's put it that way. As for where your world is going, well, we'll just leave you with uh, your own intuitions. Is your intuition of the future going to be clear? Well, some of your guides say, no, don't see the future. I don't want to see that. Just stay out of it. And sometimes you have a timeline reason for that, too. It just has a, everything has a reason for it. You might not like those reasons, but... Why everything happens the way it happens is has a purpose, a higher purpose. And no one's really trying to sabotage it. it might feel that way. Are there people getting energy attacks? And all? Yes, because some of you are truly are, like I say, going to dimension 10 or 12 or more than that. And the world is still trying to figure itself out. <laughs> so trying to take your kids to school and things like that, you know. These simple things in life. Survive the day. Meet somebody new. And some of you are ready to go to another planet. So, yeah, it's just, yes, realize your talents, your creative talents. Creative talents is very excellent for allowing your alien vibrations to come through. 
obviously mutual conversation with those that want to hear this. Yeah, it's it's complicated, as you know. So I'm sending your energies, blessings. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> 